What's going on everybody? Today we are at Jesse's house from HC Aqua. He okay. just hit the big 1K not too long ago, but <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do a tour of his fish room. So let's begin. All right, so let's start off with this scape. And this is one of my favorites. So you have a carpet of, what is this, baby tears. And then the pearl weed with the sparkling garami looks really good. Do you just have the one or do you have like a pair in here? I have two males in here and the, the female is in another tank. Like, yeah. You have all the, you know, everything you need to beat them. I just need to switch one of those males out for the female. Right. Okay, so this is um a really cool tank. So this is Jesse's Lake. How big? 75? 75, 75, yeah. 75 gallon community tank. And you could, you're like any fish that you can think of is probably in this tank. So this is Jesse's Lake. How big? 75? 75, 75, yeah. 75 gallon community tank and you could you're like any fish that you can think of is probably in this tank. Now I'm gonna take some of these home. These are the uh, white cheeked gobies, right? Right, no gobies. Yeah, gobies. Yeah. I'm gonna take a pair of these home, try to see if I can breed them, but these look cool. I think, yeah, that's the male. I don't know what the females are. Uh, is that the female? That's the female. I think. Could be. So, we went to store they're having a moving sale so you picked up another male peacock goby yeah you want to put those in now and then um what else we got some pencil fish okay so we're gonna put in the peacock goby yeah, hopefully this guy is a male looks like a male yeah. two females already and another male so we have two in each male. So here is the unusual looking half beak and it looks like a baby gar. I'm not exactly too sure the species of it, <laughs> but whatever it is, it looks pretty cool and I want one of these. So this is something that you're trying to get me and I always wanted for a long time. This is the uh, pipefish yep. and the answer GI. Yeah. yeah. And he's just hiding in the cholo wood too. Mm -hmm. He has a pretty cool pattern on his belly. I want the ones that you can see, you were saying this too, right? You can see when they're, you know, mating, their belly just extends. Right, right. And it has this, like, rainbow color. It's yeah. so cool. I'll definitely try to get those. Mm -hmm. But this guy is small. Now, I would think that you would kind of have problems with this guy for feeding. You know, or anybody at least will have problems with feeding, but it seems like he's doing well. How long have you had him for? Oh, jeez. I think a couple of months now. A couple of months? Yeah. Well, he's doing good. Yeah. This is your native Hawaii um, tank. I wouldn't say native because these things are not from Hawaii. Yeah, they're probably introduced to the rivers, but I caught them from the river. With just some, you know, endler guppies. And you do have a pleco in here somewhere. I did see three plecos. Three plecos. Yeah. I did see a pleco, but they're probably hiding in all the rock. Your mud skipper. He could probably think that I'm feeding him. I just do this. Uh, that is so cool. Well, I have four, and, and my four don't, they're shy. So whenever I bring, you know, food into the tank, I, I use a spoon to get, um, you know, the brown shrimp in the tank. They always just scatter and go just into the burrows. Yeah, like your, yours is so active compared to mine. Like yours, yeah, I wish my mudskippers would do that. He always goes for the finger first. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. He, he doesn't go for the actual food. Yeah. There we go. He got it. That is so cool. I gotta train mine to do that. My muds should. They just flip each other off. <laughs> All right. So here, are your guppies, and you have some shell dwellers in here. You have the multi fasciatuses, and here are the fry. You can see the fry in the back, and. Right here. So these things be good then for you. Oh yeah. How much did you start off with? Seven. And they've been just going ever since. Mm -hmm. That's good. So this is your saltwater tank. Mm -hmm. You have a pair of are these just regular ocellaris? Yep. yep. Clowns. And uh, and this is a flake tail a hole a hole a native uh, fish to Hawaii. Now these are this thing can actually go in freshwater. Like if you wanted to put it in your. <laughs> 75 you could right eventually i probably will transition in to freshwater because he'll get too good for this right and you're small yeah you're yeah. so small this is a baby stuff. and your coral banded uh pair that you caught with jimmy 
There's the other one under the rocks. Mm -hmm. And then you do have some coral in here. You do have... Which are, which are the ones I gave you? The, the one on the very top, you gave me that. So now it's starting to open up just now. So I gave you, I gave him this. This is some paleothoas. And did I give you this one too? This one too, yeah. This one too. Front. Yep. Take a look at these guys. So I guess these are kind of a higher grade cherry. And I'm guessing these things breed like crazy in here. Or these are apparently the yellows, but they're actually becoming green. And, you know, Jesse doesn't know why. So these are used to be all yellow, but they just started to get it that. It must be something I'm feeding them. Yeah. yeah. But they're starting to have that green tint, I can see. But still, these are really nice. See how small these blue jeans are? <laughs> they're so small. These are the ones you gave me, right? Yeah. So yeah. I gave you the size that's in this tank. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> give you, like, the small ones from this tank. It's th They're small in this tank. Crystal black. That one looks good. You have a few species of boosters in here. Mm -hmm. Nana Petite, going well. Yeah. But yeah, this is a pretty... Right there's a pinto. Let me see if there's some more. Yeah, you can kind of see the pinto. Yeah. And this is overall really good. So you have plenty of outdoor tubs. Here's one of them with... Um, with what kind of guppies are these? Just cold guppies. Yep, just a bunch of mixed ones that I don't want. Are these the kois? Koi guppies. Koi yeah. guppies. Mm -hmm. Well, these look really good, and this is a big tub, so you're breeding. No, this is a three head, uh -oh, 300 gallon tub. So you're breeding a lot of them in here. Yeah. Even the goldfish are breeding in here. And these are these are the magenta long tail guppies. So they're hard to see because they're just making a mess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But well, it's a nice purple color. Like if you mm -hmm. catch some of those, right? You can kind of see them. Yeah. Let's see if I can. Yeah, those are really nice. Look how much pearl weed is in here. That's ridiculous. And it looks like Monte Carlo. Like it forms a nice carpet. And these are just cherry. Oh, you can't really see them, but there's cherry shrimp in here. And Jesse is, you know, this is just a normal tub. They they breed like crazy. And just the secret is just plants. Yep. All you need is just plants. Like you you don't even have filtration in here nope. or aeration. Nope. Just plants, and they're breeding, and they're nice too. And double ear. Yeah, these ones actually have like, this really purplish coloration to the pectoral fins. I don't know if your camera can pick that up. Yeah, yeah. but let me see if you can catch one. Okay, maybe not, but. <laughs> yeah, this is, a, this is one of the nicer ones. But take a look at that. That is so cool. I may want some of these later on in the future. Yeah. Dang. Look at those wings. Yeah, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. In here are the galaxy. What are they called? The galaxy? The green galaxy. Yeah, I think that's what they call them, but they are really cool. And I do love I do love the colors. And I'm just looking at them from the top, but I may want to get some of these in the future too. Here are the shrimp that I'm taking home. Um, so these are the blue ones that Jesse gave me and they're huge. These things are over an inch long and that's really great I love the size and these are the good-looking painted well I don't know if they're painted I can't really um, you know grade them that well but they have a really, a really nice red and they're always big like all the shrimp in your outside tubs are huge for some reason but I'm not complaining they're good so can't wait for these guys to start breeding all right, thank you so much to Jesse for letting me come and you know tour his fish room So yep. if you want to go subscribe to him go it's up above right now you go Please check him out really great channel. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video